Deep Feast, Writing the World Through Food. What on earth does that workshop title mean? What does that workshop mean? I'm Crescent Dragonwagon, and since I am your co-conspirator in this workshop, if you do it with me, it of course becomes our workshop, I'm going to answer that question and invite you to join us. I hear people say to me, I'm not a real writer. I just write about food. I don't hear it as often as I used to. Food writing has become considerably more respected in the last decade than it was when I started out a horrible number of decades ago. But I still hear people say it, and I hate to hear it said because I feel that that statement, I'm not a real writer, I just write about food, disrespects and minimizes both sides of that sacred equa equation. A real writer writes. And when you have a subject as vast as food, what story can you not tell? Uh, I have a book here called How to Cook a Wolf. It's a book by MFK Fisher. She's the first food writer I ever read. I picked up the book when I was 12 or 13 because it had such a funny title. And for those of you that know MFK Fisher, she writes about life. She takes you into her life, the life of food, World War II shortages. It never dawned on me that you might, that one might think that it was anything less than real writing. So it's not the subject that makes writing good or bad. It's the way that it's done. It's your voice. Now, voice is another question, and it's one we get into in the workshop. I want to talk a bit about the other side of the equation, the food. I just write about food. What on earth do we think we're writing about when we talk about food? I have in my hand a clove of garlic, not a clove, a head of garlic from my garden last summer. I'm talking to you on a winter day at twilight in Vermont. There's garlic in my garden underneath the snow that's going to come up first thing next spring in the soggy ground. We harvested it last winter. So it has a reference to the seasons. It has a reference, in turn, to the world turning, to the tilt of the world, to astronomy, to all of those sorts of things. Coming closer in, uh, garlic is not a Native American food, so how did it get here? From the Middle East, through Europe, we've got trade, we've got exploration, we've got all those recipes from those parts of the world, then we come to personal history, the prejudice against the Italians when they came over as immigrants at first, garlic eaters, the fact that I always used to say that if I have one recipe carved on my tombstone, it should be for my garlic spaghetti. Stories on stories on stories about ethnicity, race, poverty, richness, abundance, famine, politics, government, history, and yes, what to eat for dinner. That is our subject as vast as the world itself. And writers who choose to write about food, I, enjoy, I invite you to join me at our vast, vast table and to dig in more deeply, maybe, than you knew you could. Let's get surprised together. Thank you.